After discussing the non-oscillatory cases of the dynamic stability of first order difference equations, it is time for us to study the oscillatory cases. And referring to the last video, you can uh, remember that how we have uh, analyzed those cases. So the first four cases have already been studied in the last video. These are the last three cases, that is fifth till seventh cases, and they will be oscillatory in nature and the value of b will be less than zero because whenever the value of b is less than zero it's negative value then there will be oscillatory pattern this we can verify with the help of these uh, tables this is the region number five in which the value of b is further decreased from zero because in the last video the region four was studied in which the value of b was equal to zero and we were declining it from two that is greater than one we started it and we declined it to zero and now further decline will happen and it will enter into the negative dimension and it will be a negative fraction for example minus 0.5 this is the value of b that we are assuming in this case the absolute version will be 0.5 which is still not less than zero which will be positive because we have taken the absolute value of it and uh, then again this formula that is the complementary function formula where a is considered to be equal to one that is capital a the arbitrary constant for the sake of ease we will experiment with different values of t that is starting from zero till four and then we will see that how it determines the overall uh, pattern of the uh, yc component so minus 0.5 or minus 1 over 2 is uh, substituted here the value of uh, t is now 0 when it's 0 any uh, thing will turns to 1 and then you can solve it for remaining values if power is 1 then the answer will be the same that is minus 1 over 2 and this way you can solve these by pausing the video and you will see that it is appearing with alternative signs which is uh, a thing to observe which is a salient feature of the oscillatory uh, uh, complementary function and hence the time path. So when we plotted the value of bt here, where b is equal to minus one over two, and t is having values from zero to onwards, the, the answers would be uh, one, this is one, and then this is minus one over two. This is one over four, this should be 1 over 4 and this is minus 1 over 8 this is 1 over 16 1 over 16 and now we have this uh, uh, diagram which is having oscillatory pattern it is also in the positive quadrant in addition to being in the negative quadrant so about it we can uh, uh, derive that it is a convergent time path because the distance from origin was higher and then it became lesser and lesser and lesser so it is converging secondly it is oscillating above and below the x-axis or the equilibrium so uh, the vertical distance is also decreasing so these are the two salient features that it is convergent and it is oscillatory in terms of its pattern and uh, this is the first of the oscillatory cases the second of the oscillatory cases will further decline the value of b that is from negative fraction to minus one absolute value however will be equal to one and now this minus one is experimented in b and then we can put zero in its power and then one and then two and three and four and we will get these values you again can pause the video and do this very simple calculation um, so the values if we observe them they are again with alternative signs which means that we are going to have oscillations in first and uh, fourth uh, quadrant and you can see that uh, this is the first quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant so it is oscillating this is one this is minus one this is one this is minus one this is one and so on so in this way this uh, oscillation is happening and uh, it is neither convergent nor divergent because 
the distance is the same no matter above or below the equilibrium or x-axis it is having the same distance it is not changing so it is neither getting close nor getting far so it is neither of the two cases there is uniform vertical distance that is it's not changing and still there is oscillation so we can say it's neither convergent nor divergent in nature finally we go towards the final case which is the seventh case where the value of b is further declined and it is declined less than one that is it is uh, for example minus two which is the opposite of the first case where the value was uh, uh, equal to two if we remember the region number one it was having the value of b equal to two so you see it's a kind of mirror image we started with two and now we are ending at a value which is with an opposite sign with the same value this is something we saw in that number line uh, let's go back to that number line in which we started with uh, for example if we start from the left hand side it's minus 2 and it is reaching 2 so in, in either of the cases this relevance is there it's a kind of mirror image on the left side you see the positive values and on the left side you see negative values so we are at the final case where uh, the region is having negative values of b so we will uh, do that same calculation one more time the value of t will be substituted and when we substitute it equal to 0 1 2 3 4 we'll get these values it is appearing with alternative signs and it's negative it's positive so you can observe that they are having alternative signs so oscillation will happen in first and the fourth uh, quadrants here you can see first and the fourth quadrant and the oscillation is increasing let's go back to these values these values are uh, increasing in absolute terms 1 minus 2 4 and 8 and then 16 uh, omitting the negative signs we can still see that the values in are increasing consequently it is uh, an increasing distance 1 and then there is uh, 2, there is 4, there is 8, and there is 16. This is negative 8, this is negative 1. So the movement is away from the x-axis, or if there is equilibrium here, it means that it is uh, dynamically unstable, and it is divergent in nature. It must be divergent. And uh, it is having an increased vertical distance here. So the divergence is evident. You see that distance is increasing as we go ahead. It is increasing. So that is also clear. Now we can summarize all these possibilities. In these uh, three cases, B was negative. And whenever a negative base, that is, for example, minus 2 is raised to any power, the answer will be dependent upon even if we have odd or an even power. If we have even power, the answer will turn to positive. And in case of uh, odd power, the answer will remain negative. And due to which various values of t, they become 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for even values of t, the answer will be positive. And for odd powers of t, the answer will be negative. And hence, there will be alternative signs that we observed in those tables for example this table where the signs are alternative so the oscillation was happening in first and the fourth quadrants and it was definitely an oscillatory pattern that we observed and oscillatory pattern exists whenever the value of b is less than zero or negative and the convergence will happen that we have already seen before when the absolute value of b is less than 1. We can develop a, a similar table as we developed in the last video for the non-oscillatory cases. Here you can see we are uh, simply considering the actual value of b and absolute values of b for the 5th region, 7th seventh, uh, seventh and 6th regions. If the value of b is negative and it's a decimal a fraction value, then there will be oscillation 
and if it is a negative one minus one it will be oscillatory because it is less than b zero and if it is minus two that is uh, less than minus one it means that it will still be oscillatory because it is a negative value absolute value if it is less than one it means that there is convergence as you saw in the first of these five cases this case was convergent and then if the value of b is equal to one then there was neither convergence nor divergence as you can see in the graph it was neither convergent nor divergent and this is region 7 where it was equal to minus 2 and its absolute value was 2 and it was divergent and here is the diagram of that divergent case so we see that this table is very helpful to summarize all the cases and it tells about about the pattern as well as the nature of the time path and this this was uh, a collection of three cases of uh, oscillatory nature and now we have completed all seven cases of the uh, time path and its uh, dynamic stability of the first order difference equation you remember that in the first video that is the last video the first video of these three uh, videos of in a sequence we talked about a we kept it equal to one but now in the next video we will remove the uh, possibility of a being one and we will see that how it affects the nature of the time path so this is about the non uh, the oscillatory cases that we did in this case thank you